the I know they did the first one, and then when they did the first one, I asked um, Big if because uh, he was in charge. Him and Kevin Dunn were in charge of it, right? And I I told them I said I wanted to do I want to do the next one, and Jr. wanted me to do it too, and Jr. came up to me and said he asked me he goes you sure you want to do it? He said we'd really like you to do it because you know Taz. You know, he kind of bullied people around, and he said if somebody called him out, he'd get his ass whipped. He said, we know with you, you know, if somebody called you out, we ain't got to worry about you. Right. You know, you'd, you'd take care of it. And so I said, yeah, I'll do it, you know. And that was one of the best things I've ever done. Yeah, I loved it. Did you think the uh, show exposed the business at all, or at that point the business was pretty much already open? It was pretty much already open. Right. I heard rumors, I don't know how true it is, that Triple H wasn't really for the taping of the show. He wasn't. Right. He wasn't. He didn't He didn't like it. Uh, what happened with you and uh, Matt Copatelli? Obviously, that's a sore subject, but... Um, um, not sore with me. To me, they disrespected the business. Because you've got guys that work hard to make the business what it is today. And... It was in Tough Enough 3, and... I was a guest on number three. Well, I got there, and they had everybody in the ring, and they're supposed to have a match. You know, it's like, you tag in, do your thing, tag out, somebody else comes in, one of them things. Well, they're all laughing, cutting up, you know, like slamming people, and the guy taking the slams, laughing, and you know, and getting punched, and they're laughing while they're getting punched, and I'm sitting there like, this is not the way it's supposed to be. And they're filming this for TV. Right. You know, and I'm sitting there, I'm, my blood was boiling. And so, so I went up to Big, I said, Big, I said, I said, I need to get in there. You know, and Matt was the one laughing and carrying on more than anybody. And, uh, so, <laughs> so then they stopped and said they switched out people and I got in there and, showed him that's not the way it is right you know and I made a believer out of him and you know he couldn't take a simple ass whipping all I did was you know give him a bloody nose bust his mouth open and that was it and blacked his eye you know and uh and then he he the next day he was crying on the show wanting to quit well if he can't take that he doesn't need to be in the business because that you know Right, uh, I was easy on him. I could have been a lot worse. You know. Did you get heated off from the office for doing that? No, nope, sure didn't. They were all for it. Yep, they were all for it. What about as far as talent? Like, we did an interview with Alan at one point. He thought it was wrong that you shouldn't have taken liberties with Matt. Do you regret it at all looking back at it? Or no, I don't regret it. Okay, I do it again. And me and Al got on the phone, and went round and round about it, and I told Al, I said, I said, I'll damn sure do it again. I said, I'm protecting the business. I said, you're, I said, all you are to these guys, you're, you're nothing but a mother. I said, that's all you are to them. And, uh, you know, I mean, me and I were good friends. Did you guys agree to disagree, I guess? We, yeah, we agreed. Yeah, we're good friends. And today, to this day, we're still good friends. You know, and we had a heated argument. But you know what? After that argument was over and I saw him at TV the next time, I mean, everything was fine. You know, but I had my opinion on it. He had his. And, uh... And I, and I told him, I said, you baby these guys too much. It's not the way it is. And I said, I went in there and I did. I showed him the way it was. And that's too fucking bad if you don't like it. Right. You know, and I said, I'll do it again if I have to. And ain't nobody going to stop me. And um, so, uh, you know, of course, Al disagreed and everything. And, and uh, but that's just the, that's the way it was. Did uh, any of the other boys ever come up to you and ask you about that situation, or nobody really cared? Um, uh, Johnny Nitro, at the time, who is now uh, John Morrison, you know, at first he didn't understand. He didn't like it. But then, after he started working, and he'd been on TV for a while... He understands. He came up to me and he said, now I know why you did what you did. He said, I understand it. He said, I get it. And I said, thank you. What are your thoughts on Al Johnny? Because he's really come into his own recently. I like him. I think he's he he's a hell of a worker. 
You know, he gets it. He's in great shape, too. I know Triple H went on a TSN, and I guess he, he said your actions were inexcusable. Did you know about that at all? About what? About the whole incident with Matt. Well, because Triple H doesn't he he doesn't like violence. That's why. All right. That's that, that's all it is. Okay. Um, moving on. Not, to- not not so much. He doesn't like violence. You know, it's just like if you asked him about um, uh, UFC, he doesn't like it. Right. But but you know what? I was protecting the business, and if Triple H don't uh, don't get 